Commerce English Medium Higher Secondary School Class Fifth Subject Computer by Richard Garg. Hello, students. I welcome you all to this classroom. Today, let's start with Chapter Number One: Characteristic and Evolution of Computers. Children, in this chapter, we will study early calculating devices, evolution of computers, characteristic of computers characteristics and evolution of computers children you know that computers accept store and process data according to a given set of instructions to give the output but children do you know how computers was developed so children computers we use today are very different from early devices that we that were invented for doing calculation okay children so children let us understand about some of the early calculating devices early calculating devices are abacus napier bones pascaline different engine and analytical engine these are the some of the early calculating devices so let us understand about this devices first abacus children do you know what is the abacus children abacus was the first calculating device the the abacus has a wooden frame with a bead sliding on the wires with the help of the abacus we can perform simple calculations like addition subtraction multiplication and division the abacus is still using today's in many countries especially in countries of asia and africa napier's bones in 1616 sir john napier made a calculation device and named this device as napier's bone this device was called napier's bones why children because it has number carved on bones or on strips of wood this napier bones was used for addition subtraction multiplication and division and to find the square roots of number for this way purpose we are using napier's bones pascaline in 1641 Blaise Pascal invented and named it as a Pascaline. The first mechanical computer. Pascaline is the first mechanical computer. It consists. It consisted of a rectangular box with movable wheels. A uh, movable wheels means four pahiye wala wheel. It is used for this Pascaline is used for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers up to hundreds and thousands okay children difference engine in the 19th century charles babbage invented a machine called the difference engine to prepare the mathematical tables analytical engine charles babbage also invented the first general purpose computer known as analytical engine This analytical engine has the same basic elements as the modern computer have like input output and memory devices due to this path breaking contribution of computing charles babbage is also called the father of modern computers so charles babbage is all charles babbage is also called the father of modern computer okay children evolution of computers children computers are classified into different generation based on the technology used so children we will study in evolution of computer about in that we will study first generation of computer second generation of computers third generation of computer and fourth generation of computers generation of computers children you can see this vacuum tubes these vacuum tubes were used in first generation of computers 
these vacuum tubes are children very large in size and had small internal storage and these vacuum tubes were very expensive expensive now children we will study some of the examples of first generation of computers mark 1 children this is a mark 1 computer mark 1 computer was designed by howard h akin in the year 1944 children this computer was about 15 meter long and the wires connecting the various part of the machine were about 800 km long the machine was slow and took 3 to 5 seconds per calculation but children it was the first automatic calculator okay children any electronic numerical integrator and computer children this anic was developed by john presper actor and john w mockley in the year 1946 this anic computer was the first fully electronic digital computer it consists of 18000 vacuum tubes and it occupied occupied 63 square meters and weighed more than 27 km this computer was originally built to help the army in launching bombs and missiles more accurately this computer does not did not have stored programs it had to be programmed by manual wires for each task this uh, this any computer stored program refers to a set of instructions stored in the computer for quick calculations the instructions can be give, written in different computer languages known as programming languages this is the work of a any computer edsac that is electronic delay storage automatic calculator children this computer was designed by professor m witzer of cambridge university england in the year 1949 this computer was slightly faster than any ek it weighed approximately 6000 kg and and occupied an area of 20 square meters This computer was the first electronic computer that used stored program. This computer used stored programs. Okay, children. VAC that is electronic discrete variable automatic computer. Now, children, this computer was propo proposed by John P. Eckert and John W. Mockley in 1944. even as the eniac was being developed john b newmanen who also gave the concept of stored program joined them later to help in designing the electronic discrete variable automatic computer this computer was completed in 1946 this edvac that is computer was weighted approximately 8000 kg and covered an area of 40 45.5 square meters it has the capacity to hold stored program as well as the data this computer can store a program as well as the data this is the work of a electronic discrete variable automatic computer universal automatic computer this universal automatic computer was developed in the year 1951 this computer was developed by j presper ikart and john mockley the computer weight is was around approximately 13000 kg and this computer can occupied an area of 35.5 square meters
This computer was first commercially available electronic computer and also the first computer to handle both numeric and text data. This is the work of a electro this is the work of a universal automatic computer. Limitations of first generation computers. Children, the major limitations of the first generation computers were their operating speed was quite slow. Their power consumption was very high. They required large space for installation. Their potential to be programmed for task was quite limited. These are the limitations of first generation of computers. Second generation computers. These computers started from 1959 to 1964. So children, these are the characteristic of this second generation of computer they use transistors they were smaller faster cheaper and more much more efficient than the first generation of computer they contained all the components that we associate with modern day computers that is a printer storage capacity disk storage operating system and much more the programming language like COBOL and Fortran came into the use at this time. IBM 1401 and RAC 501 are some of the examples of the second generation of computer. Third generation computers. These computers were started from 1964 to 1970. There are some of the features of this third generation of computers. The features are they use integrated circuit popularly known as chip from the first time children. You can see here the chip is that the black one that the small one that is a chip. So they use integrated circuit popul popularly known as chip for the first time. Now, they were small in size as compared to the second generation of computer. These, the, in this, they had greatly enhanced storage capacity than the second generation computer. In this, they used an op operating system that allowed them to run different programs at the same time. At the same time, you can do different programs. IBM 360 series and 370 series are some of the example of the third generation of computer. So IBM 360 and 370 series are some of the example of the third generation of computer. Okay children. Fourth generation computers. This computer started from 1971 to present. Now children, there are some of the characteristic of fourth generation computer that is the present day computers. These computers use microprocessor, a type of very large scale integrated circuit that is VLSIC. That is a very large scale integrated circuit which contains all the components of a CPU on a single chip. Children, on a single chip, there is a very large scale integrated circuit was there, which contains all the components that the what the components of the CPU that all the work CPU do that all thing was done in the single chip. This VLSICs perform the bulk of processing and control all the parts of a system. Okay, children. They use of the use of microprocessor result in, in decrease size and increase efficiency. It decreases the size and increase the efficiency of this computer. Okay. Now in this fourth generation computer, they have much greater computing power and storage capacity than the earlier generated generation computer. Okay, children. Now in fourth generation computer, children, they use they use improved storage devices that are cheaper than the earlier one. So children, they use the cheaper cheaper device as compared to the earlier one. Okay. Now 
these comp in this fourth generation computer they can be linked together to share storage capacity storage capacity space data and etc okay children now ibm pc and apple macintosh macintosh are the example of fourth generation computer children nowadays laptop and palm tops which can be carried anywhere in with ease have become very common the way laptop and palm top are very are very easy we can carry it from one place to another pl place so it's very common now okay children till the fourth generation computer the major focus was and has been on reducing size now children in this fourth generation computer their main aim is to reduce the size of the computer and and improve the efficiency of the computer this resulted in smaller yet faster computer however children the only drawback of this computer is a lack of ability ability to think think which one is attempting to achieve in the so called fifth generation of computer so children these are the characteristic of the fourth generation computer fifth generation computers the fifth generation computers was started from 1989 to future now children in fifth generation computers these computers are referred to as a super computers these computer we call it as the the first super computer which was built by india okay and was param india was param 8000 completed and installed in 1990 one these supercomputers children are very high storage capacity and has a high speed and has the ability to carry out highly sophisticated operations so in the fifth, in this fifth generation computer the craven series was the one of the example of super computers now children in the fifth generation computer it also involves artificial intelligence okay children artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science that aims to create computer that can think behave and react in the same way as a human do this be, this uh, fifth generation computer they are making it as a human being the way a human behave think and react so they want to make it children fifth generation computer like that okay the fifth generation computer are expected to overcome overcome the lack of thinking power in the earlier generation okay children did you understand this so this is the what fifth generation is about okay characteristic of computers so children there are some of the characteristic of computer let's see about them speed what about the speed children a computer can perform complex mathematical and statistical calculation at a very high speed a computer can perform your calculation very quickly children okay now next is accuracy a computer is very accurate if the data entered into the computer children and set of instructions are correct then the result produced will, will be accurate children if we give the correct result correct input or correct data to the computer it will give us the respond very fast and very quickly children okay now let's talk about the high storage what is the work of a high storage children a high storage in that a computer has a very high storage capacity it can store children a lot amount of data it can store a large amount of information in a very small space in a very small space children a computer can store your large amount of data the information stored can be covered inst instantly and correctly where wherever desired wherever you want to store you can store your data and it will store it in the small space also okay children now let's go to delicacy 
in the delicacy being a machine a computer does not suffer from boredom or lack of concentration and continue to work with the same accuracy till power is supplied to it okay children delicacy children a computer never get boredom or a lack of his constant the computer concentration power is strong and continue to work with the same accuracy till power is supplied to it till the power supply is on a computer can work how much are you want to make the computer work the next is a versatility Versatility means is our ability to perform different types of job. A computer can perform different types of job, children. Okay, a computer can perform different types of job efficiency. It can work with different types of data like picture, audio, and video. So these kind of work a computer can do. So children, these are the characteristic of computers. limitations of computer children today's limitation com of computer is that today computers lack the ability to make decision means today children computer cannot take their own decision a human beings can give their decision to computer and they have to follow that instructions so human beings needs to give the instruction to the computer and computer has to follow that instructions they need to be told what to do and at each and every step so children at every step we have to tell to computer to do this kind of work a computer cannot do that kind of work by their own okay so we need to tell we need to give them instruction and computer work according to our instructions okay in an unexpected situation a computer will either produce incorrect result or will not complete the tasks so children these are the limitations of the computers children open your textbook page number 16 exercise question 1 filling the blanks with the correct words a blaise pascal invented the first mechanical calculator called pascaline okay children now b dash is called the father of modern computers charles babbage charles babbage is called the father of modern computer now let's move to c the first generation computers used dash what will come vacuum tubes okay now d1 dash developed the concept of stored programs john von neumann develop the concept of stored programs okay children now let's move to e question computers lack the ability to make the decisions okay children now let's move to question write t for the true statement and f for the false one a abacus is probably the first calculating device true B Charles Babbage invented the difference difference engine true C Mark 1 was faster than the ENIAC false okay children D example of first generation computers are the ENIAC and UNIVAC UNIVAC 1 true E the computers that we use at home possess artificial intelligence true Now, children, let's move to question C. Write one word for the following. Okay, A one. The first fully automatic calculator is the Mark One. B. The first fully electronic digital computer is the ENIAC E N I A C. C. the first electronic computer that used stored programs that is edsac okay children now let's move to d1 the first commercial available electronic computer is a uni vac univac now e1 it has all the components of the computer on a single chip so which has the all the components on the single chip children fourth generation computer okay children now children the fourth question is 
omit that is the answer the following question that is omit now children let's move to in fifth question choose the correct option a the dash generation computers used very large in size so what will come let's see the option one second two first three third fourth fourth generation so what will come children first it's the second option that is first the first generation computers were very large in size now children let's move to b1 the main components of second generation computers was one vacuum tube two transistor three integrated circuit fourth microprocessor so what will come children it's two transistor the main components of second generation computers was transistors now let's move to c1 the first electronic computer was the one e n i a c that is eniac two univac that is u n i v a c third e d v a c edvac fourth e d s a c edec edsec so what will come children the first electron on electronic computer was the eniac that is the first one e n i a c now d1 a microprocessor is used in the dash generation of computers so what will come let's see the option children first one first two second three third yeah fourth fourth so it's fourth so fourth option will come a microprocessor is used in the fourth generation of computer now children on next page e1 artificial intelligence is associated with the dash generation of computer options are 1/3 2/1 3/5 yeah 4/2 so it's 5 artificial intelligence is associated with the fifth generation of computer